Also in Springfield, a discussion on nuclear power plants. Policymakers are considering ways to keep thousands of people on the job. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell previews what's at stake as the House returns tomorrow. The Illinois House returns to Springfield Thursday as Exelon prepares to pull the plug on two of its nuclear power plants located in Congressman Adam Kinzinger's district. The two nuclear plants in my district are about to be shut down, and I know that there's ways to help and to fix that. And I know that nuclear is extremely important to the future of energy policy in this country. Republican Adam Kinzinger wants Congress to give subsidies or tax credits to nuclear power plants to help them compete with rapid growth in the renewable energy sector. Part of the problem with nuclear is, you, is you know, it's competing against solar, it's competing against wind that has these credits in it. And more federal support appears headed for renewables. President Biden announcing an aggressive plan Wednesday to transition from 4% solar power now to 45% in 2045. The U.S. has cut its coal consumption in half over the last decade, and Illinois plans to phase it out entirely over the next 24 years. With allowing our units basically to run till 2045, that allows that time, you know, for these other resources to be fully developed um, that can take th the place of coal. Coal plants like City Water, Light and Power argue they could only afford to install carbon capture technology now if they can stay open beyond 2045. We can't install carbon uh, capture on, in 2035 only to shut down the unit in 2045 because basically we, we cannot finance it. Congressman Rodney Davis says he has not read the recent UN climate report declaring code red for humanity and calling for strong reductions in carbon and methane but he says the U.S. already produces cleaner energy than other countries. The United States doesn't get enough credit for what we've done to reduce our carbon footprint. Does that mean you celebrate or, or encourage the, the reduction of carbon and methane emissions? Oh, I always have. We all have as Americans. I mean, we realize climate change is real. Since polluters are making money on making the mess, why should taxpayers pick up the tab to fund wind, solar, and nuclear alternatives? Congressman Kinzinger suggests that he might be open to an idea Governor Pritzker floated making them pay. Do we put a price on carbon? Uh, there have been a lot of conversations on that. What does that look like? Where does that money go to? Does it go to infrastructure? House Majority Leader Greg Harris says the House will pass a new ethics package just before taking up the energy bill for a vote on Thursday. Reporting in Springfield, Mark Maxwell.